I don't know if you guys or Nigerians agree with this statement. According to the Minister of State, Federal Ministry of Youth Development, Ayodele Alawande, he said, Tunubu is too rich. Tunubu have seen money. President Tunubu have seen too much money. He is too wealthy to steal Nigeria money or to look into sign funding Nigeria money to his personal gain. So make I explain the way it is. The guy, the Minister of State, he say Tunubu to get money to the wealthy for him to steal Nigeria money. You know, eh? exactly, eh? exactly what people thought during that campaign. They say, no, we, we want person may get money so that it will take over so that you know they find money again. <laughs> That is the greatest misconception of our time. Say, person may get money, no, they feel fine money again. Ah, that statement is wrong. Oh. But I am not saying the president have time to sign for Nigeria money. But it's not only when you steal. It's not only when you steal, you carry money pool for pocket. Eh? Now me say, person, take money oh. There is where you go get money, you go misuse that money, you misappropriate that money, and that money will work against the people. It's not only when you carry money put for pocket, now they make people suffer. People should get that statement right. People should understand the difference. It's not only when you carry personal money from bank, Nigerian money put for pocket, now me say people will suffer. There are times you will misappropriate money. Put money in places that are not supposed to be put. People will suffer. There's also a misappropriation. After all, the former regime, what were we saying? Bwari get integrity. The integrity choke. The integrity choke, so they... We say, you know, nobody go carry money for a regime at all. He go jail people, he go jail this, he go jail that. I hope you now cannot bear the testimony of what happened in the last, uh, the last regime. And not just only that. Eh? The guy is a general. We need a general to come and quench this security. What happened? What happened? Do you still need anybody to tell you exactly what happened then? Uh, if you need somebody to tell you, that means you are not a Nigerian. What was the selling point for Buarias at that time? Insecurity. It's a general. It can quench your security. What was the selling point? It will jail corrupt people. When corruption started fighting back, okay, we now discovered even the people that were in power then were the most corrupted. So it's not always a bad when president carry money put for pocket. Majority of the time, president said no, they chop money rich. Some people made their give offices. Majority of the time, president do not eat one quarter. Rich people make a point. Majority of the time. So it's not about the president. It's misappropriation. It's employing incompetent people. When you are good and you are play somebody who is greedy, eh, the person will ruin you. So it's not even about the president at all. Tinubu is rich, good and fine. You are not saying he's going to steal. Nobody, myself, I even doubt. I don't think Tinubu will ever collect anybody money or collect Nigeria money. Ah, to get money. Let us just believe that to get money. No. Ah, why not? Why would do one? But then again, when one greedy or too greedy, or like five, and you know Nigerians, all those people they are still Nigerians, you know general, a general concept about a, a common Nigeria. Make like five greedy people come they in, inside your cabinet. Most definitely they will drag you down now. They will drag you down. They will drag you down very well. So 
majority of the time, eh, it's not the president that takes anything. Majority of the time, it's the somebody that is under the president that usually eats the most, builds the, the, the biggest houses, even get companies around because he was appointed by the president. That is what we only see in this country. So it's not even the president. But the president is the one that released money, that signed. In my team, directly misappropriate that money, then you will suffer. If greedy people... Do. So in as much as you are praying for a bad president, for a, for a good president, in as much as you are praying for the president to know how to move the country forward, also pray for the president to be able to identify the bad eggs around him. Because that is one of the most important prayers. Make we know they will they pray. Because the president is good and all his things are bad. My brother, there is nothing you can do. So the president is not just one person. The president are multiple people. The president are multiple people. It's not just one person. There are multiple people. So when you pray for the president, also know that you are praying for multiple persons as well. You are he, he, in a regime, you will have a president, year one, but then again, all these teams, they are also kind of like mini president. Hmm? After all, the president do not have time to travel the entire state to know if one road is bad or to know if one other road, federal road is good or to know if that company is working fine or to know that budget is doing well. No. Now the people around that money, they will know, and when they turn blind high, the rest are sure you will suffer. So in as much as you are praying for the president, also pray for him to be able to realize and to know the bad eggs around him. So I kind of like agree with him though. I agree with that uh, uh, statement. But then, check this out, Daniel Rega said, Tunubu is too rich, but Remy Tunubu reportedly said her husband Tunubu not that rich and that she begged Shetima's wife for $2 million. So who is telling the truth now? <laughs> maybe now the minister knew Tinubu passed his whole wife now. Who knows? Just maybe, just maybe, just maybe, just maybe. But I agree with the statement, though. I agree with the statement. And then again, check out. I don't know if this is a good news. So for me, it's really a good news. If it is what I am thinking is going to. They say the National Security Advisor, that is a Luhu Ribado, announced that President Bola Tunubu have signed the legislation to create the National Center for Gun Control of Small Arms and Light Weapon. Small Arms and Light Weapon. Gun Control or Small Arms and Light Weapon. If they are bringing out to create a National Center, that is to say, if it's what I am thinking of, that is to say, very soon, the mind allow Nigerians to bear small arms and light weapons. Men. I know some of you do not agree, with, but <laughs> if the drum and it's where, it's where I'm thinking is going, well, lie, eh? This is this will definitely be one of the most single-handed, the uh, best thing this man has done for us. I will want to be in my house, a criminal thief come my house. I will get at least twenty percent assurance that say we die here today. You understand that he say I don't get anything for to, to protect myself. I just get hundred percent assurance say, say me I will die here today. I rather say we will die here today than say me I die here today because I have nothing to protect myself. If I'm rubber come your ass like a carry like a two guns and everything like three or five guns like five of them, and you no get anything, how are you going to say we die here today? What do you get to the fight? Now plus. But when you get gone, in fact, eh, your because you get surrounded, your house already they protected. Chama, you will get zeal. Say you will boast, even though you see, say at least few percentage of uh, 
trust on you say man one person must fall down here or before i go and hey you know you will tell yourself like that even though you fall in the year after you go beat yourself to, like two people fall i rather want to be in that position i rather want to be in that position so if it's what i am thinking is going about controlling this small arm and light weapon the reason why a government want to control small hammer and light weapon is because they want to give it to the general public and they want to be able to control it as well. I beg you, me, I did support. I did me great support. Just carry like two pistols there. And one, uh, we call light weapon, two pistols. And they were pumpy. Put that from my house, nothing they are pumpy. Hmm? I'm, I'm, I'm actually really in support of Abeg. I, I don't know if that's where it's going to, let me be honest, I do not know. But for controlling, like, what you want to control light weapon for? Light weapon, who the whole light things? So if you want control, that means you want to give a mouth with that one. Huh? I know some people will not agree with it, but me. All those people in villages, where they cry all, 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 all the time, they will tell you, say, ah, 100% they agree. 100% they agree. Ah, I beg go. The criminal will just call you. Criminal, don't be saying you go carry gun. You carry court classes. You know if you do anything. Because say them many. Ah, no. I beg, give me that uh, Oka Medo. No, no be Oka Medo. Oka Medo, I be this uh, Hunter Gun. <laughs> okay, guys, it's time for much to watch the boy Adam Sling. Catch you next time. Peace.